All right, so it's 9.50 in the morning, and I'm here at the original, the OG location at Ding Tai Fung. And uh, there's already like five tables in front of us. Um, this place is, is the original location, and um, until today, it still only takes cash. But all that matters is the food, so uh, we're gonna see what's going on in here, and um, I've ordered like a lot of food. Um, and looking forward to tasting all of them. So we're in the location now, and we're told to go all the way upstairs. How's she? So um, this is apparently very, very narrow. All right, so we have it. Classic shaolong ball. That's the first thing to be served. And here we have the dipping sauce. And it's suggested that we put, I think one part soy sauce and three part rice vinegar. Um, but I put a lot of soy sauce in here. Um, and also there's ginger in here already. And for the drinks, we got the um, calpico, the caldo piece. And also, of course, it's in Asia, so we got the tea. Well, let's try this. Well, I'm gonna try the first one without dipping in anything. Yeah. See, the skin is very, very thin. So you just poke a little hole through here. There's actually not a lot of soup in here, so um, that's about it. And then you just eat the whole thing, like like a monster. Meat is tender. The outside um, is nice and light. It's a good soup dumpling. All right, so that's all the soup. It's all the soup that's in there. It's barely, I say a, a tablespoon, but it's actually somewhere between a teaspoon and a tablespoon. But still tastes very good. All right, next up we got the crab dumplings. So, um, it actually doesn't look that different. You can definitely see there's crab meat in here. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna taste it without any dipping sauce first. It's very crabby. They definitely put a lot of crab meat in here. Again, very juicy, light and delicate. It's really good. They're like within two minutes. We have basically everything on the table except for the um, chocolate chiaolong bao, which we had for dessert. So um, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look at what's on the table right now. So we have the uh, xiao ren xiao man or the um, shrimp xiao man. And we have the long yo chao shao, which is basically um, wonton in red sauce, and I mean spicy sauce. And here we have the remains of the uh, crab dumplings. And we have the uh, mahjong bami right here, which has been tossed. So I'm gonna try the um, shrimp shaw mai right now. This time I'm gonna, I'm gonna straight up dip it in some sauce. I mean, this thing looks pretty cute actually. And uh, I'm just gonna take a big old bite into it. I mean, it's, it, it is extremely hot, but um, who cares? Well, no, no, let's not do this. This is this is a bad call. Still gonna take it nice and easy. Whoa, there's actually a lot of a lot of soup coming out of this one. I mean, just look at this. A shao mai is not supposed to have this much soup or juice, but I'll take it. 
very, very light, sweet, and packed with umami flavor. All right, take two. I'm gonna take it nice and easy. Okay, there's actually pork down there, and if you flip it back up, now there's there's the, the shrimp, you have it. So that's pretty interesting as well. I'm gonna flip it around. That's what she said, that's what she said, that's what she said. Let's take another small bite. And by that, I mean the entire shrimp. Well, still pretty good. A little overcooked for me. A little too tough, but the flavor is all there. Well, next up, the homeo chao shou. This is traditionally a Sichuan dish, so it's supposed to be really, really spicy. But I don't know how they do it here. Um, let's just give it a try. You can see it's covered in chili and, and chili oil and hot oil and hot sauce and everything. Good. So um, this is not actually piping hot, so we're gonna take it as a one biter. This is very interesting. Apparently, this is not as spicy as it is in Sichuan, but um, the vegetables inside have a little crunch, and the sauce has almost a dark pickled flavor, which I have never tasted in any other Long Wen Chao dish. Alright, one last dish before the epic chocolate soup dumpling. We have the Ma Jiang Ban Mian right here. Or, um, Noodles tossed in sesame paste and sauce. You see, it's all smothered in, in matcha. So, um, let's try that. This is actually a Shanghainese dish, but um, we do it differently in Shanghai. We put a lot more soy sauce in here. Right here, this is basically just sesame paste and, and you know, basic seasoning. But it's still good. Like one thing people usually do wrong when they make this type of noodles is they put too much sesame paste and not enough other liquid. And by that I mean oil or soy sauce or something to sort of dilute the thickness of the, the sesame paste. So here, this is actually pretty smooth and not like clumpy by any means. So yeah, great job, Dean Typhoon. This is a great, great dish. All right, there we have it. Brand new utensils for desserts. All right, here we have it. The chocolate soup dumplings, here we go. This is so exciting. All right, chocolate soup dumplings. I don't think there's actually gonna be soup in it, but it's gonna be all chocolate goodness. Let's just straight up dig into this. So the texture is pretty interesting. It's like, it's like bubble gum being chewed that is wrapped in the wrapper. It's straight up stuck between my chopsticks. And I'm assuming this is gonna be piping hot. So I'll take it nice and easy. Wow. This is some good quality chocolate. Apparently dark chocolate, not extremely sweet, but it has that kick and, it, and it's hot as lava, as hot as anything. You can actually eat it as a soup dumpling. You just suck through this hole. Well, that doesn't sound right, but um, you just suck through this hole. And it's all gonna come out. You see the change in the shape right here? You can suck all the way through. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. There you have it. So I guess that's why it's still called a chocolate soup dumpling. I think I'm ready to just hand this bad boy right here. All right, 
right, so that was everything we had at the OG location of Ding Tai Fo. I have to say, they know their soup dumplings really well. Um, the classic soup dumplings are not as soupy as I thought, but they still taste good. Crab soup dumplings apparently have a lot of crab, but um, the texture sort of puts me off a little bit because it's not as tender. The shao mai was probably the worst dish we ordered today because the, the shrimp was overcooked on the top. Although it does have it does have a lot of flavor. And then the, the noodles tossed in sesame paste sauce, that's just awesome. That's fantastic. And it's different. The homyo chao shou or the wonton and spicy sauce, the pickled vegetables in it are very subtle, but it changes everything. And finally, the chocolate soup dumplings. What can I say? This this is probably the most magical, yet delicious and succulent and rich soup dumpling I have ever had in my life. So um, yeah, Ting Tai Fung is definitely worth a visit. And if you're ever in Taipei and you have time, you better come to this location because this is the this is where it all started. And the food and the service, everything. This is right on spot here. So um, yeah, that's been my review of Ding Tai Fung OG location here um, in Taipei, Taiwan. Hope you enjoyed it.